In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. And as you can see, I got all the planters put out and planted. I did a, a mix of carrots and onions. I didn't have enough room for everything. I also didn't have enough time to get everything put away after yesterday's run either. So I will deal with that later. Let's take care of my water situation real quick. Oof. Yeah, I can't believe I actually let myself get that low on stuff. And I can eat. Thank you, thank you. Time. Once again, I need more water in my life. Speaking of water, the ice has melted. So, go ahead and switch back to my normal gear, which needs repairs, and I have nothing to repair it. That's okay. It, it, it's coming. It, it's it's going to be slow getting here, but it's coming. So the next thing I want to do. Uh, first, I, I need to, to move those and place them as nicely as these. These aren't 100% perfect, but they're really close. They're, they're pretty well placed. I think I want to get... Hmm. I want to do another set, double set of solar panels would be nice. And grow lights on the plants which would look really good. Um, 60%, 60, 60, 60, and perfect. So those are gonna get 100% sunlight during the day. I wish you could, oh, here's something that would be nice. Why aren't the grow lights automatic? So if the sun's out, if the plants are already getting 100%, the grow light shuts. I don't know if that's asking too much or really necessary but it would be really nice if the grow light wasn't needed that it would just automatically turn off i'm going to split half and take some eggs with me for protein on the road um do i want to make i think i will i was like debating myself if i wanted to make a lock pick but like i said once i've busted the uh the dam, I just can't help myself. I should have the mass necessary. No, I don't have the mass and I don't even have the wood on me. I think we'll go out keyless today. I might regret that later, but oh well, you know, them's the brakes. I'll go out for normal loot today. Shut, thank you. Ah, uh, my cotton plants are finally starting to come up. So we are in February, which means there still could be another snowstorm. That's one thing about this game. Don't let the, the nice weather fool you. Just because it's nice all of a sudden doesn't mean that there can't be another blizzard. And with the haze I see in the clouds, I think a storm is possible. So my guess is by the time the video is about to be over, it'll be snowing again. But it won't amount to much. Now, that's just a guess. A um, couple wolves. We we'll probably still see white wolves out here as well. It is possible. The last day of the transition day, you can still see them. Oh, my base is under attack, huh? They must be attacking from the upper side, is my guess? No. They're out in the water. How many? I've got eight premium arrows. 
think I want to hold on to those for a while. Ah, see, he saw me, and that's why he's walking this way now. <laughs> that's why I love premium arrows. With that thing, I don't care where I hit you, you're gonna die. Ooh, shotgun shells. Thank you. All right, the other guys, yep, are in the water. Switch arrows. Hey. He was under the water shooting. Whole game still needs to address that at some point. There it is. Decent. I mean, fish oil, it's always a good thing to get. I'm definitely happy when I get fish oil. I won't complain about it. Drop off a few things I picked up so far. And get moving out again. Now, I might see a second attack. It depends if that base, uh, if those rogue encampments moved. If they didn't, they're going to come attack. If they did, their flag gets reset and basically they just forget what happened the day before. Concentrate on grabbing iron. Uh, I'm not so big on hunting moose right now. I'm out of uh, onions. Whoa. That's a white wolf. Told you there's white wolves out here still. We're going to go all the way back here. Oh, he dropped off. Sounds like he took a single swipe and then let go of the chase. Ugh, I'm still getting winter-like bags <laughs> for loot, so yeah. Though it is looking less like there's going to be a storm. There usually is one more snowfall right before the switch. And since we have white wolves out, it's still not fully switched over to uh, spring versus fall or spring versus winter. Uh, yep, we got these out here still too. So the transition is going to happen or probably happen at night. Do I want to go after cougar? Actually, sinew would be nice to get my hands. So well, double scrap drops. Those white wolves really stick out when there's no snow. Odd I'm not seeing a cougar over here. There almost always is one right in this area. Ah, I see that tree sprouted a bag. Let's see if it can reach it. Yeah, these are those mythical trees that, that grow bags. They're very rare. I see the cougar. Eh, it's filled with blueberries. Go figure. Level three cougar. You're pretty kitty, kitty, kitty. Whoa. Yeah, level three. I probably should have run. Hit him with a second arrow and then done the shotgun bit. Unfortunately, they don't have a head hit spot, so you're not going to get extra damage by shooting them at this particular location. Decent. Five sinew off that one cougar is actually really good. 
I think six or seven is the most I've ever gotten off a single cougar, and I want to say it was six. Now, that happened to be a cougar that was like level 10. It was during the time when I was uh, testing the uh, health pool, health numbers, and drop rates of different animals. So I was literally put a bed out in the wilderness with a BCU and you know bought all the spawns that i needed it, it was like the end it was like an air of, end of a long pier connected to my uh i think it was my atlantis base is what i called it and i was um just basically throwing myself at the animal i dragged them back right to in front of my base let it kill me and then do that over and over again don't know how I oh 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 so you do know where I'm at oh uh, yeah you already hit me too you know where I'm at I hate that uncanny aim and almost always I want that bleeding attachment that they have to their nine mil that gives their rounds like instant bleed chance ah uh, I was trying to duck his shot I'm trying to duck but even if I move side to side, it's not going to protect me, typically. Because if I'm moving like that, then... I can't aim. I can't aim while moving. I'll, I'll admit that. I have to stop. Oh my god, look at all that wood. 26 logs from Rogue Hunters. Okay, that was worth a first aid kit. IMO. And I am not even going to try to find any of those arrows. Just deal with it. I'm not even looking. Mama. Okay, close, but not right on top. All right, we're going to do the uh, run and arrow thing. I was going to say run and gun, but it's run and arrow. In this case, drag him back toward my base. Oh, white wolf. Don't want to get near him when I got a cougar on my butt. Okay, you can stop chasing me anytime now. <laughs> uh, is it going to count or I have to chase it down the hill? No, I got it. I lost the liver. I think the liver is more important than a cordage. The fiber. Told you it was going to snow again today. And you were sitting there saying, oh, this guy thinks he's the Al Roker of subsistence, huh? Like, he just knows it's going to snow. <clears throat> snow. It's that little white stuff that's falling from the sky. I told you it was going to snow. I could feel it in my bones. Okay, it was just a good guess. It typically happens. I cheated. I'll admit it. All right, let's get our bounty back to the base. I mean, for a quick run... It's actually pretty good. Nine sinew. One sinew is... Whoa! Excuse me, Mr. White Wolf. One sinew is one of the things that I said I wanted to go for today. No, no, no. Back off. And as quickly as it started snowing, it stopped snowing. I think I got a, a, in front of the weather, weather pattern. I think in a few, well, no, because I see what, you know, it's like little bits of snow. I like covering. Over here, so. That's one thing I would like to see 
added to the game is like weather patterns. So I think right now what happens is that the game says it's snowing and then the entire map, it starts to snow. And if you go one direction, you, you're not trying, you don't like get out of the weather front or whatever. It's just the game says it's snowing and the entire map is snowing. I would really like to see a pattern to it where it's snowing, but it's not snowing everywhere. It's snowing where you're at. And if you um, move that out of that area, you could actually get beyond the snow front, you know, beyond the weather front that's providing snow. Just a thought. It's not something that's necessary. It's just one of those gee whiz, wouldn't that be cool kind of thing. Perfect. Can I eat a big meal? I can. And we'll take a little bit of fresh water with us. Speaking of fresh water, let's get in the water for a second. Pull off. I saw what appeared to be a double node. Oh, well, won't let me get out. Interesting. Take a breath real quick. Let's try this again. A single node, but I'll grab the copper real quick because I'm right here. And this time we're going to go this away. Uh, did that iron pop back over here? No, it's potassium, but I am fertilizing my plants more right now because I'm like really hurt. Oh, speaking of fertilizing, let me check my cotton and my onions. Those are the two things right now that I feel is worth fertilizing. This whole walkway needs to get upgraded eventually too. I mean, it's my main uh, way in and out of my base. And if I'm not careful, the hunters are going to destroy part. Don't ask me why I clicked both. Onion. Carrot. Oh, nothing planted on this. That's a mistake. Extract. Extract. Let's just put some tomatoes in there. Make sure. It's just a waste of resources having that empty. Let me reach. Ah, here comes some more snow. Might as well put in right here, top these off. This one definitely needs to get topped off. I don't know if I need to, to put a light on every single one of these planters, but I do think that, well, one, it would be nice to have a, a light like on this end and at the far end to light up this area. That would be a nicety. Um, but the big thing is just having one or two so that there's primary crops like um, well, onion that I need right now, obviously. And then the, uh, addition of cotton and stuff like that would be really helpful just so that they have a hundred percent, you know, they have light going continuously. In fact, I think it's so important that I'm going to put a light on this one right now. All right, upgrade. I need three bars. And then just mass and power. All right, how many bars do I have right now? I don't have any bars. I put a little damper on my thought process. Three. What can I throw away to 
18. Split in half. 54, 54. I didn't do that on purpose. That was just, it happened to be the way that it worked out. Metal, circuit boards, uh, rope and sinew. Rope and sinew. One. Yeah, just a just like a, a diode on it. You know, how about a, a, another upgrade of the planter, where you know the first upgrade is adding the grow light itself. The next one is increasing the the power efficiency of the grow light, and then one more for a light sensor built into it, so that it doesn't it doesn't stay turned on when it's not needed, or when the sun goes down, it comes on would be really nice. You know, it's not necessary, but it would definitely be nice. And then let's get the power efficiency upgrade done real quick. And you'll notice I always try to do that when I'm doing when I'm adding to my base and it has a power efficiency upgrade to it. I try to always add the upgrade. And we'll turn this on tonight and see how uh, useful it is in the area. I think it's going to be really useful. And one way I can power that is I can turn off one of the um, one of the drills. Because that takes 0 0.05. That takes one. Yeah, 0 0.05 if I remember correctly for the grow light. Yep. So I could... Um, I could run four grow lights, just about four, for the for the power that one drill takes. Well worth it in my opinion. Actually, I'll hold off on that. I was gonna say get some more mass, but I've used up a lot of resources to make mass in the next couple days, so let's hold off on that. It's not necessary right now. Ooh, but I do need to get some more biofuel. Foot half, foot half. Foot half again. And the other day I was talking about solar panels. I think that's one of the next things that I really need to get done is the next six solar panels need to be added because that'll give me uh, those additional solar panels would make it so that I could run those uh, row lights with no problem but I need to build up some uh, some iron fragments so I can make up all the bars necessary to uh, get this done. I could go raiding hunters. We get two hunter bases maybe tomorrow. That's a possibility. I do have the Molotovs for it, I think. I only have one Molotov cocktail. get what I need. I need glass for it. That's a weird recipe. This has already got glass. The alcohol has glass around it. Why don't I need more glass to make the Molotov cocktail? I don't know why I never asked, asked about it before, but I'm kind of asking. Or... Nah, it's actually cheaper to make. Yeah. Not by much, though. But still cheaper. We'll get one 
when one of these mollies started. I think I'll keep the alcohol over here now. Put the glass there so I can just grab it next time I'm I am here. Let's check the area around my base. So tomorrow I could attack the two smaller hunter bases. The one right next to me over here and then the one on the far side of the map. And I guess I'd start at the far side of the map. Because I, what I could do is get all my stuff ready for the attack. And then run over there at night so that I can start the episode right outside of their base. Attack that first base, clear it out, come back, and then attack. Mm, the problem is I don't think I can get the supplies put together fast enough. Ooh, free scrap. I'm going to grab that real quick. Oh, maybe I'll just attack one. Is it even more snow. Maybe I'll just uh, attack the base that's nearest to me tomorrow. Instead of trying to go all the way to the far side for now. All right. How much light you're getting? 69. Good number. Let's turn this on. Now you're getting 100. I want to see how much light that gives over. That's That looks pretty good. I do like the idea of all those planters having grow lights on them at some point. Let's switch that out. And I've got enough biofuel to keep doing it for a while, so. That off. Yeah, the first one's done, but oof. Only have to, you know, I I put all the resources into, you know, getting this ready, and I never really went forward with it. You know, I I made all the alcohol and everything, but never made sure to keep reminding myself to make the mollies to actually use, which I have to admit is kind of dumb. I'm not going to have to eat that, but I'll go ahead and eat a couple of tomatoes. And let's see how that looks. That's decent. I mean, it's not throwing in a lot of extra light around, to be honest. But it's not meant to provide that kind of light. That's never what it was meant to do. All right, guys and gals, I'll go ahead and call the episode here. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on season five. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like. Consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.